guess what day it is. Still out looking for that elusive mine that I can't find yet. Should be directly ahead of us on the other side of that mountain or around the back into the top of it. Taking a little different road out. This is all just pure blow sand. Soft as sin, but this is as smooth as you could ask for riding. Oops. and all washboards so easy roads nothing to brag about we'll keep poking along in that direction see where it takes us bring it back well we're coming along we're trying to get to that road over there we find this little car sitting out here anybody want to bet whether or not that's stolen everything's gone that's all right not my problem A little bit of a dry river bottom here, or uh, lake bed. Rained a couple days ago, so I'm hoping this just a, isn't just a crust, but it doesn't matter. We're going through it, no problem. But we'll jump on this other road and do a few more miles and bring you back. So this is called the tank track. The low tanks are taken to our local military base here. This is just like a clay road. You can see how well it's holding the moisture. We came down this when it was raining one day. It was like an ice skating rink. It's pretty fun. You can see on the sides where they've gotten stuck. Oh yeah, it's getting wetter. off to the side where they've gotten stuck when it was wetter. I don't think it's wet enough to pose a risk to us today. It's just just a little wet. Good fun. So this is an interesting mix. We got some lava style rocks mixed with blow sand it goes from super soft to hard and rocky back and forth back and forth back and forth I'm trying to be over in those little washes and gullies but i don't think this is going to do it for me this road needs to go left or they're going to go for me Oh, oh hey, back into another soft wash. Oh, that ain't so bad. It's all good fun. You got to put in the miles to, if you want to find the cool stuff. So we're gonna poke along this for a little while. Hope this takes me where I wanna go. Ideally, we're gonna land in a really, really large wash that's gonna take us up between the canyons there. Then there'll be a road south and it's gonna get me on top of those ridges, kind of. And we're gonna meander through there for a little bit and we're gonna come, come across what's labeled as a mine on a USGS map. So far, it looks like we're falling into the wash, which is what I want. Oh, 
big rock for a wash. Due to all the rain we had, we got a ton of little uh, grasshopper cricket things out here this year. Bet you the birds and lizards are loving it. Oh, soft, can't turn. For some reason, the camera turned off on me. We're gonna keep going at this for a little while. I'll bring it back when I find something more. So here's what we came across. Just worked our way up that wash, running into the mountains. They put a gate in the road. All right. But we're looking on the other side of the gate, there's a road. So, you know, I'm looking around here. I look up on that hill, just before the crest of this little hill there, that's a BLM open route sign. That's an open BLM road. Maybe I came up the wrong one, I don't know. Interesting looking rocks. We'll use our teleporting abilities and get on the BLM road. And uh, we'll bring you back. Look at that rock, rock structure. That's pretty cool. So we still want to go up this canyon a uh, pretty fair ways. Find what we're looking for. Turns out it's a gate. Or it wasn't buried well. Whatever. I'm on a BLM route now, so we're good though. BLM soft route. Good fun. Drive, drive. Get in. Let's go. <laughs> There's my BLM sign, we're on a legit road. What we're looking for is an uphill trail on our right. The mine is raised in elevation. So we're looking for an uphill trail that goes right. Keep your eyes out for an old road. Pretty country. Not a soul for miles.
little track right here keeps switching from some nice kind of soft pack and then it goes it goes down into some real soft stuff i'm not sure how it comes out on camera but i'm getting a little bit of wheel hop in some of these parts got to get those new shocks put on Stick hit it, man. Is that a road or a wash? Uh, Looks like a wash with tire tracks. We'll poke around here for a little bit. We'll we'll see what we can find. Here. All right, that's it. Navigators fired. I don't know. Whichever one told us to go up this one canyon over too far. We're one canyon too far over. I thought we were getting kind of far out. Fun drives, good adventures. For every one of these cool, cool things I find, I spend a lot of miles looking for them. I mean, we're 20 minutes or 20 miles on the pavement to get out here, and so far we're at 17 miles off road looking for it. Not too bad yet. Look at that hill, that hill's pretty neat. I'm hoping the volume's all right. I got the uh, media mod on. I learned how to switch it to the back microphone. All that hill's just eroding down in a way. We'll get back out of this canyon, trying to get, try to get one more canyon over and go up that, see if we can't find it that way. All right, so after crossing what can loosely be defined as roads multiple times, we came around the corner, I spotted some mining debris. Ah, yeah, we're getting closer. But then we come a little farther in here. You know, we got wood, sheet metal. We got a hole. What we got? Floor looks good. Let me see a light. <laughs> Billingsworth, bring me a light. Sure. Thank you, Billingsworth. Yeah, let's see. It goes in. You want to see how hard? Sweet. You want to see how hard this hurts? No, don't touch that stuff. Good Look, man, you're getting ready to go into something. Look at the shale rock, pretty soft. They got a header right there. This is going to fall off. Oh, you can see some of the some of the calcite leaching through right there. Really, really, really small mine. Floor looks good. Hey, this goes back. Shut my truck off. Get yourself a light too. You guys are seeing it just like me, folks. I've I've never been in here. I never knew anything about it. This is one. <laughs> it raised up a little bit so I could stand up. The back's looking okay, not great. You can see the calcite leaching through. Air smells pretty good. Looks like that was a sleeper for some kind of a cart. Yeah, these are sleepers. They're round nails, so it's, what's that, 30s or 40s or newer? This tunnel is all of like four feet tall and it's getting smaller. It looks like it faces out up there. 
trying to get my light and my GoPro aligned here. I'm literally doing a squat walk crawl here. Yeah. Tend to something, no clue what it is. Oh crap, that goes way up, dude. Dad, these are, um, these little wood pieces on the floor, those are for tr uh, the, tr the track. Yeah, they're called sleepers. Look at this, t look at this tunnel. Oh, I'm about to ride a car. That goes way up. Not sure how much that, we can probably see 100 feet. Right hand rule, take a look at the one on the right. Uh, starting to smell the pack rat mess. That's not cool. If we find a cart, I'm gonna push If we find a cart, you're getting pushed in, boy. Oh, smell the pack rat urine back real, real good right here. Yeah. Disgusting. We're heading out. Face is out right there. No big deal. <coughs> Had to be a vein of something here. They were chasing this one pretty good. Drill holes there. Back looks good. Floor is good. Ribs look pretty good. We got a good echo. So that's what I need to know to get, go up a little. We still got sleepers in this incline shaft, which is very, very interesting to me. I feel like I can feel air. Is it might. Still goes as far as I can see. What the frick, what are these dwarves? The dwarves from us does. Oh, that's square nail head. Wait, no, this is not square. Where? My right here. That's a bolt, dude. Little cross cut there. Ooh, there's the vein they were chasing. Right there. See all the banding? Look how that's what up. Yeah, they shored that one up. Old railroad ties. It's not bad, everything still feels good. Echo's good. There's no dwarfs. <sighs> Had to be a dwarf, dude. This thing's like three foot tall. The little uh, dwarfs off of that one movie with the seven dwarfs in that little Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up here. It's all stoped out. All right, we got a lot of loose, loose material up here. Still keeps going. Stoped out quite a bit, but it's braced quite a bit. Look at all that bracing, loose material. And it's gonna face out right there, I think. Oh, that hurt. Yep. See, it faces out right there. The Back's a little loose. It might go back this way over this uh, loose material some, but I think it's just gonna face out. That's pretty cool though, that's what we were looking for. Love the old mines. You can still see the reddish vein back there in the very back. Comes right along here like that. That was a neat little find, considering this isn't even the one I was looking for. Well, that's what we're working our way down. None of us can stand up. Yeah. So. Diana, where are you? That was an interesting little find to stumble across. <laughs> but that's what we're doing. Part of the vein they were chasing. I 
Are these date head nails? Oh, nope. Little railroad spikes though. Those are cool. James, you saw these railroad spikes? They got real railroad spikes over here, little tiny ones. That's cool. Still got sleepers in the ground. Little spikes. Took all the rail. So that's what we found coming down that road there trying to get over yonder that way a little bit just never know what's sitting around out here good times i just thought it was cool i'd show you guys once again we we're coming down this little trail right here came around the edge there i saw all the metal mining debris right there so we we're just puttering along you know, beautiful scenes out here. I see more debris down there. Just when we rounded the corner, look around that bush. There's a mine. You could never spot this from Google Earth. It's nothing to brag about, but it's still neat for us. So we'll go back to the one I'm actually hunting for. We're about a football field away from the last one. We can see some diggings up there. Looking down here. We got a big gobbing wall down here. We got some wooden structure. This isn't the one I'm looking for either. What is that? But we got plenty of debris, remnants of a building. Huh. Oh, there's a collar to a shaft right there. What's that? Looks like a top of a stove, maybe. You got the brick, perfectly bricked in back, square wall back there. I don't know, this might have been their house. Look in. Circle of nails. Nails are still round. But we got solder bottom cans right here. That nub on the bottom of the can, that's a solder bottom can. I forget what year those were started, but they're older. I think they're pre-50s. Here's their little can dump here. Stay away from the edges. Look, there's a ladder. Huh? A ladder. Yeah, but I don't know how much of a ladder that is. How far down does it go? 100 feet. Look at that bird. Maybe 50. Ladder goes down about 20. That might be 75. But you can see, look at this side, the collar's buckling right there. Where? Right oh, there on that one. Yeah. So this would be a rope only. Let's get away from that. That'd be a rope only. We're not set up for that yet. Looking down there. Gather our lights. Lots of metal debris. We got diggings up there we're gonna walk up and check out. Big old gobbing wall right here. I'm told those are real old because they put a lot of work into those. I say gobbing, that's a stack rock wall. Nice flat area to work with up here. That was somebody's little shelter probably. We're just out here. Doing a little exploring. This video is kind of gonna be kind of long. I might cut it into two parts. It depends on how many minutes it is. The sleepers? 
You gotta look above you when you're looking at this. You guys shouldn't have gone up that close. You gotta make sure there's no loose rocks, and there's plenty of loose rocks. We're safe, there nothing's gonna fall, but... Give me a light. All right. No Cinderella in this one, no dwarfs. Pleases me greatly. Cinderella was the one who had the shoe lost, guy. Yeah, whatever, it's all the same to me. Coming along, looking. I'm trying to look at the back here to see what vein they were actually chasing. I'm not seeing it. But we got sleepers. They expected this thing to be good. Sleepers are the little ties on the floor that the rails are bolted to. Oh. Then we got a decline shaft. We got airflow right here. Look at the look at the back of that. Keep it down. That's all stoped out up there. Right there. Yeah, that's a pretty decent decline. I know. All right. So that one goes over a little bit. That must have been the vein right there. That little quartz must have had some gold or something. How's that back look? Yeah, somebody tried to burn this one out. I don't know why people do that. This goes up into the stope quite a bit. That's pretty cool. I ain't going up there. This one's got a lot of roof supports, a lot of loose rock. This isn't really solid rock they're mining through. A lot of supports, doesn't go anywhere, so that's really unstable portion. That goes down pretty good. Let me do that, but better. Still going. Yeah, that goes down pretty good. Right here, the incline's not too bad, but you can see it takes a sharp turn down as we go over there. I don't want to put myself in a situation where it's uh, sliding in and can't get out or, or too incredibly difficult to get out. So I believe I'll certainly be back to this one, but that's not what I'm prepared for today. I don't have the resources I need, nor the, nor the extra backup. Oh, that, you can see the light in that hole right there. Mm -hmm. Move the lights down. You can see the, the, the light, that's gonna be that hole up top of us. And I would bet this decline right here goes down to that shaft level. And there's some stuff there. I have no problem doing that, but I'd like a few more people and a little climbing gear just in case. So. We'll certainly mark this one on the map. That's a cool little mine. We're gonna poke around here a little more, enjoy it, we'll bring it back.
marker. Precipices! Kind of big, kind of a big flat spot. I'd be surprised if there wasn't some kind of a working around here. Oh, there's a big road going up that hill too. I wonder where that goes. A lot of these haven't been driven in so long; they're camouflaged. <laughs> oh, you did not want to overturn right there. Let's see, what's the suck factor on this one? Yeah, that would suck. How bad does it suck on your side? Uh, decently, I mean, you're rolling down into all that. We would prefer to go up there. Don't know what you guys could see. That was on auto rotate. We just came out of that canyon down there. We're pointed in the general direction I want to go. center top of that one the freaking guy's crazy you guys see that white pole over there top center of that mountain we keep seeing those poles i don't really know what they're for but I saw one you talk about some mountain climbing just to put some poles in the ground i saw one when we had a well james had a look at that fence they're all there's a there's a bunch of them they seem to be predominantly in a line for some reason i don't know if they're marking an ore vein or i don't, I don't know what the purpose was Five minutes. What? Five minutes. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is gonna be a long video. Hey, there's one of those white poles knocked over. That plastic or metal? It looks what? plastic. It looks metal. <sighs> A little rock step here. Looks like the road forked off that way too. Yeah, it did, because you can see across that mountain there. Yeah. Claim marker up on that hill. Close to the body there. Yeah, I feel like the truck's already not scratched. Scratches are okay, dents suck. I think I'm not on the road I want to be on. That seems like a road to nowhere. Let me figure out what I'm doing, I'll bring you back. After consultation with our uh, expert navigator, me, we decided that this is the road I need to be on. You're not an expert, but you got this lost the first time. I'd be lost. High range. We found mining debris, bed, things like that. That's an easy bake oven. You want it? Look at that. Everything rotted off of the bed, landed on the ground, and rotted away and stained to the ground. Little miner's bed. That's cool. Little metal debris around here. That's the canyon we were just bouncing around coming up in. Can you see? I cannot see. Can you see? Yeah. Is there a road? Yeah, to the left. A lot. There's another uh, claim marker right there.
shit, did we just run out of road? I think we did. Still looking for that elusive mine. Kind of box right there, miners debris. That's probably it. That's it. Big open cut. Big open cut, well-defined road going into it. This is what I was looking for. You can see the vein coming down there. I don't know if that's groundfall collapse, blown closed. Yeah, look, you can see the drill holes up on the side of this hill here. This is the one I've been looking for. That's a shame. Well, this is a fun adventure. We'll get the truck flipped around, poke around here quite a bit, see what we can find. There's usually neat stuff laying around. Gotta be some more prospects. Oh, I see minor debris up in that. Just over the, the hill of this first one, I see a little metal box, half round box. Yeah. Well, you saw it folks. All that time, all those miles, I found two mines that I didn't know I was gonna find. And I found, found one I was for sure was gonna be a mine. And it's not. Fun adventures though. So we looked all around that place. We saw lots of interesting stuff. I'm just pulling out here. I see that big spool of probably half or five eighths inch cable. Now I know it was a big deep mine. They blew that close. It was probably so unsafe for people were getting hurt in there or whatever the case is. They blew it closed. So we're gonna meander our way back out of here. I went down and turned around, but this is where you guys left off. This downhill wasn't too bad. There's the view of my world. We were up in those canyons over there. One of those is where we found those other decent mines. <laughs> we came up this road right here. It's not too bad. I'm hoping my volume's good. I got the I got the new mic on. Trying to improve my quality just a little bit. That's a shame though. I've been looking for that mine for like three trips. And then to find it in its blown clothes, it's just a shame. Not a lot of my friends have a lot of off-road experience out here. Everybody plays in different areas, so I'm taking it upon myself to be the guy who knows this area. Back to the bed. The hill we're going down, whether we like it or not, it's not that bad. Let's see. Pretty good sized rut right in the middle of that road. I'm trying to straddle that. It wouldn't matter. I can go in and it ain't gonna do nothing to me, but I don't wanna be in it.
still on the fence about heavily modifying this truck. I really want to, but it has gone everywhere I've wanted to go. Not necessarily. Yeah, we're on site. Not necessarily effortlessly, but it goes wherever I point it. I do like this old truck. Glad I got it. So now we're just slow, slow rolling back through this canyon. There's a few tight spots, but nothing too impressive. We'll make our way back out of this stuff and there's some other side roads we can poke around on. We'll, we'll see what we can find. Oh, that, that's a lizard. You, you almost, don't say. You almost ran it over. You're 10 miles from people and there's a lizard in the desert? I'm shocked. Just ran it over. <laughs> Always love it when you got to use power to go downhill. All right, I decided to let the kid get a little wheel time. I decided to completely circle these mountains, so I know I know where almost all the stuff on these mountains are. Yeah, that's a neat little little dugout piece right there. Looks like maybe they were prospecting. I'd be surprised if that was all erosion, but that's pretty cool looking. It's a pretty nice day. I think it's only supposed to be like high 90s today. A little nice. You can pick up the speed a little bit when you can see everything that's ahead of you on the roads like this. Epic scenery. Yeah, there's some epic scenery. Had some okay little trails to ride on, nothing too too crazy. I do believe I'm gonna have to turn, teach myself some ropes though. That looks cool up there. It's almost almost looks man-made, but it's not. A lot more greenery right here. There must be water closer to the surface. Don't turn quite as good as you want when you're in that soft stuff. Do it. See what? What are you doing, man? The dog drove better than you last time I let it drive. Well, it gets soft in those turns and you kind of float around them. You got to read that stuff and just ride it. This road should let out on the eastern side of the mountain and then I can say I've been all the way around it through vast majorities of it. We haven't filmed a lot of, or 
a fair portion of it. Probably only filmed about maybe a quarter of the drive more did. We're back on the original road that I went up the wrong way when I had to turn around to go back to try and find that mine that I really wanted to find so bad. That's blown close. Uh, so we went back to that. I brought you back a little bit after that. Seems in that darker, darker maroon rock, there's not very many prospects or anything. But when we get into this colored stuff here, the lighter color stuff, there's more prospect. So I guess there's more mineralization in those. I'm not sure. Right here is where the two colors meet. That seems like it would be a good, good place to look for me. And I feel like I'm seeing signs of uh, prospecting or possible mining, but nothing, nothing major. That right there doesn't look normal to me. We're making as many little grasshopper crickets mad as possible here. <sighs> Dad, you need a like full turn turn. Yeah, well, it's soft sand. That's why I'm letting you drive it. It's good experience. That's less than you drive soft soft? I don't know. I don't think this soft. So then why are you letting me drive it? You gotta learn somehow, don't you? That looks like a little prospect to me right there, that, that really light colored pile surrounded by all the darker stuff. I wonder if this road's gonna curve over there. Every now and then you gotta climb. Yeah, every now and then you got to glance at your temperature gauge in the sands. They're both middle. Yeah, middle. Feels high, voltage high. Yeah, in the sand, the most thing you're worried about is the temperature gauge because the sand, the sand can get the chance to be hot. That's why you want to stay going a little faster and go on top of it. I barely shut you guys off and then we came over a ridge. Some little sandstone dugouts here. It's always neat to see how the erosion picks its own path. Now we've gone from the slight climb to the slight downhill. happen is you're not going to be able to turn just like you weren't able to there there's going to be a rock over there to greet you on the other side and there's going to be a 10 mile walk that's like three hours that is like three hours three maybe four and how fast we're going See a little cell tower thing up on the top of that hill. Lots of different colors and mineralizations. Plane marker right there, it looks like it's been worked a little bit. That looks like a working right there.
There's a ton of little prospects in these hills that are listed. This looks like some kind of a working directly ahead of me here. Yeah, if I can see the road over to it, we'll go up that. Oh yeah. There's some fence flame markers. That's probably fence marker. That one looks like a flame. I guess he wants to go look. Get in it. You're in. You're in sand. Power. Power. Get on top. Left or right? Doesn't matter. Right. You turned on the wrong road. You're on the wrong side of it. But it's not a flattened area. It's not a work. It's just a hill for whatever reason. That's the other road right there. That was the left road. You're not going to make it, so just cut your wheel and back up. I've got to put this bush in the middle. A little bit bigger trees, so back before we pumped all the water out of the ground, you probably had a couple of springs around here. You can go up into drive if you want. Since you're going downhill, you'll be and you got a little speed, you'll be floating on the sand anyway. You're not digging going uphill. trash you do see from the old timers, rims, tires, things like that. Usually that means you buy something cool. Not always though. Oh man, I'll bet you a couple of weeks ago all this grass was bright green. Yeah, that's your tires going to the sand. How you feeling over there, Billingsworth? Billingsworth. 
do you do you like driving my my custom vehicle here? Maybe next time I will sit in the back. Yeah. That's pretty cool looking. Looks like um There's all kinds of different colors in that one. You got white, tan, red, greenish, gray. Gray, right, yeah. I bet you they prospected that place heavily. So I think this is where I'm going to end the video. I'll just leave you off with a couple of uh, minutes of driving. We completely circled the mountains. I feel like I know where all the best mines are on this one. I'm sure there's one or two others that I haven't seen there. But it did a pretty thorough job. Oh man. I remember when we were kids, we used to camp at a place that had a bunch of the slide rock like that, the little erosion rocks. And we'd, we'd climb up there and various ones of us would get scared to come down and the scoutmasters would have to come up there and walk us down. <laughs> Those are fun times, man. Man, I've never been scared in my life. Yeah, that is a lie. I was scared when you started driving. All of a sudden, you're trying to blame something else on huh? Way to take responsibility, bud. Here's where I'm ending it, folks. If you guys stayed and watched the whole thing, thank you. If not, no big deal. Hope you can find parts you enjoyed out of it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.